welcome to our service of choral evensong on this St Cecilia's Day, 22nd of November. We say together a prayer for Bless us, O Lord, ask thy servants who minister in my temple. Grant that what we sing with our lips we may believe in our hearts, and what we believe in our hearts we may show forth in our lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rend your heart and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. Dearly beloved, the scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness and that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with a humble, lowly, penitent and obedient heart, to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by his infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, Yet ought we most chiefly so to do, when we assemble and meet together, to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at his hands, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary, as well for the body as for the soul. Wherefore I pray, and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace, saying after me,
we beseech thee, merciful Lord, to thy faithful people, pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve thee with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
Our first lesson is taken from the second book of Samuel, chapter 23, beginning to read at the first verse. Now these be the last words of David. David, the son of Jesse, said, and the man who was raised up on high, the anointed of the God of Jacob and the sweet psalmist of Israel said, the spirit of the Lord spake by me and his word was in my tongue. The God of Israel said, the rock of Israel spake to me. He that ruleth over men must be just, ruling in the fear of God. And he shall be as the light of the morning when the sun riseth, even a morning without clouds, as the tender grass springeth out of the earth by clear shining after rain. Although my house be not so with God, yet he hath made with me an everlasting covenant ordered in all things and sure. For this is all my salvation and all my desire, although he make it not to grow. But the sons of Belial shall be all of them as thorns thrust away, because they cannot be taken with hands. But the man that shall touch them must be fenced with iron and the staff of a spear, and they shall be utterly burned with fire in the same places. Here ends the first lesson.
The New Testament lesson is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 28, beginning to read at the 16th verse. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Here ends the reading. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
glad with this yearly festival, blessed Cecilia, thy virgin and martyr. Grant, we beseech thee, that as we do venerate her in our outward office, so we may follow the example of her godly way of life. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who never can reign with, with thee in the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Stir up, we beseech thee, O Lord, the wills of thy faithful people, that they, plenteously bringing forth the fruit of good works, may of thee be plenteously rewarded, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ.
Let us pray. O God, the author of beauty and wonder, praised by your people with voice and melody, accept our thanks for the music with which we seek to glorify your name. Bless those instruments of communication which make known the places in which your worship is adorned by song at the close of the day. And nourish us all with a deeper sense of your presence as we praise and glorify your name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Most gracious God, whose blessed martyr Cecilia sang in her heart to strengthen her witness to you. We give you thanks for the makers of music, whom you have gifted with Pentecostal fire, and we pray that we may join with them in creation's song of praise, until at the last, with Cecilia and all your saints, we come to share in the song of those redeemed by our Saviour Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. O God, who gave the universe its melody and placed rhythm into our heartbeat, bless all who work to give a glimpse of the harmonies of heaven to the people of our earth. May our ears be ever open to the prompting of your spirit. May our eyes be ever open to the beauty of your world. May our voices dress your church with the songs of light and life, that we might partner with the angels in their never-ending hymn of praise. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord, we most humbly ask you of your goodness to comfort all those in trouble, sorrow or need. Especially, we pray for the sick. Visit them in your mercy and heal them if it be your will. But above all, grant them the blessed knowledge that in all things your will is their peace. And we also bless your holy name for all your servants who, having finished their course in faith, do not rest from their labours. And we yield unto you most high praise and hearty thanks for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in all your saints who have been the choice vessels of your race and the lights of the world in their several generations. Give us grace so to follow their example of steadfastness in faith and obedience to your word, that on the day of resurrection, we and all who are of the mystical body of your Son may be set at his right hand and hear his most joyful voice. Amen. Amen. And so we join in the words of the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. And rise in glory. Amen. Amen.